please give a warm, warm welcome to Mark Wilke. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so uh, brave mortals, <laughs> thank you that you are here. Um, so yeah, I'm Mark. Uh, I just uh, left the yeah the age of the major arcana and went into the age of 23, which is the 23rd letter of the of the Greek alphabet, which is C. So it makes sense that we explore our psychic connections. Um, and uh, I'm very glad that you are here. So let me give you a few starting words so that you know what you're getting yourself into, and also. Uh, give you a chance to before we finally close the doors until the end of the sounds to leave if you wish. Um, so basically what we will be doing uh, is a seance in the style of well, it's a mix. Um, so we are going to be drawing upon uh, traditional spiritualism both the English and the American schools uh, of well, uh, the early 20th century, uh, but also more modern approaches um, as they are practiced uh, these days. Uh, we will be mixing these with more, yeah, like an, a very eclectic mix of uh, uh, folk witchcraft, animism. Uh, if you have been at the talk by Daniel McKenzie yesterday, you uh, have a pretty good idea probably already how um, uh, how we're going to be treating the invisible world and our spirit friends. Uh, so we'll be all with respect, with permission and invitation. Um, I will always keep it open for you to uh, pour into this uh, whatever you like. So if you have a certain uh, amount of loved ones or a certain person on the other side that you personally knew, uh, then feel free to keep them in mind and uh, bring this energy and intention here uh, with you in the circle. And likewise, if you uh, are working with your own uh, personal spiritual guides, uh, ascended masters, angels, whatever you do, um, bring them as well, right? So uh, that we can establish this connection. Um, I will be taking the role of the medium through some portions of, uh, of this experiment. Uh, however, um, I see myself more as a facilitator and we are, doing, we, we are doing this as a group ritual. So this is something that we do together and I uh, invite you to bring your own unique abilities and gifts into this circle and see what happens. Um, explore, be curious, be nice, be respectful, and uh, then we will have a lot of fun. Um, we already mentioned we will be looking for messages which is categorized as mental mediumship, but we're also going to be looking at physical mediumship, which is traditionally um, described as any kind of physical manifestations that we get. Um, I already got my spirit team uh, uh, in like leading up to the sounds, uh, letting me know that there are two experiments that we're doing here tonight that uh, we haven't done before, uh, that I haven't done before, that I'm as uh, excited as hopefully you will be um, about them. And of course, there are no guarantees. So it is really, really, truly an experiment to see um, yeah, what is possible and uh, what happens. The sounds itself is going to be as we said, a laboratory, a sacred laboratory of manifestation. Um, and I think we would all be served well if we see it as, uh, as a space of magic, of manifestation, instead of being um, caught in the trap of Hollywood uh, of a seance. Um, and just see what happens. We are turning our inner temple, we're turning it outside, we're externalizing it, and, um, uh, and, and we trying to get manifestations of a physical, mental, energetic nature uh, from the invisible world that we sometimes usually do not get. Uh, so if you're doing ritual and you sometimes lack that bit of manifestation or that lack of showing up of presence, uh, then maybe your chances are a bit higher here tonight because we are tapping into the group energy as well and we're working together. So this is like a group effort as well. Um, I will be asking you to sing along or hum along chant for some bits, right? Um, please do so to the best of your ability. Uh, this is not a singing contest. Um, so, and please do not be afraid to like, I don't know, even if you say, uh, if you, even if you felt trapped uh, to, the, to the idea of I can't sing, which is not true, um, then uh, please, 
still sing along if you know the know the words or just hum along do the melody give your energy and participate and give the effort and it will be repaid uh, thrice um, and also uh, yes I'm asking for your participation energetic wise and also to speak up if you do see things happening how you feel uh, at certain portions in the sales to let everyone else know because first this is acknowledgement for the for the other side they are using a considerable amount of energy on their behalf to give us these manifestations to show up um, and uh, acknowledging these and just saying thank you for a touch, thank you for whispering this, thank you for a little light spark that I saw in the dark. Um, first of all, makes it easier for them to keep going, to acknowledge them, that they are seen, and also helps everyone else to kind of focus on these phenomena, maybe help us to get more of these. Um, really important thing, uh, I have kind of a soft rule where it says um, uh, for us to take a phenomena more seriously, it's important for me to that we have acknowledgement of the phenomena by two people at the same time, um, of at least a very, very similar phenomena. I know we have different perspectives, we still have our own filters and uh, ways that we see things, but um, uh, yeah, it just has to happen at the same time to, to be counted or categorized as physical manifestation. Um, also, yeah, do not um, do not uh, just uh, sit there, close your eyes, and meditate for an hour. Um, this is an active thing, right? So be wide awake, be aware. Don't be so open-minded that your brain falls out. I question things, um, but yeah, be be interested and uh, curious what happens, and then speak up and share your experiences with everyone. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that's everything I need to say as far as disclaimers go. Um, if right now there's someone who wants to leave, I'll close my eyes and give everyone a moment to to do so. Um, as we do that, I'm just quickly going to uh, to go into um, uh, the introduction that we have among us here tonight. Uh, some members of the mediumship development circle at the Fool, the Rose Circle, and I'm very grateful for that. And also, I'm very grateful that we have a lot of things here in this room tonight, which are from the Fool. So those carpets are actually from the Fool, which is good uh, that we are able to take on some of the energy that we accumulated over some of the sessions and seances that we did over there um, and getting some interesting phenomena. Let me just quickly describe what's going on for me when I'm going into a seance and uh, what other people uh, said that they experience. Uh, first of all, uh, I want you to be very aware of any kind of temperature changes. Uh, changes in temperature, uh, cold spots, warm spots on your body. Be aware of your sensations around your body. Um, uh, for me, usually it starts with a ringing in the ears and sometimes a kind of blurred out vision. Be very aware of your peripheral vision. Oftentimes the phenomenon is very elusive, uh, which I think is part of the spirit world kind of saying we don't want to force um, ourselves onto you and kind of make you believe or convince you. They're always leaving the possibility for us to just kind of step away and say, no, thank you, I don't want to believe in that right now. Um, so it's always kind of in the between phases of stuff. Um, also, uh, there, is, uh, uh, there, is, uh, there is a certain sense of just knowing, getting certain ideas, getting certain intuitions or visions, uh, sometimes manifesting as faint whispers. Do not underestimate the importance of um, uh, uh, scent and smelling things, especially if you are working with an ancestor that you knew that is connected to a certain scent or a smell or a perfume. Keep this in mind and be aware of what happens. And if you uh, catch a glimpse of this, I don't know, how do you say, catch a glimpse of your scent? Well, um, if, you, if, you, if you catch a trace um, of that, yeah, exactly. Um, and and be aware of that. I think that gave everyone enough time to leave if they had to. Um, so at this point, we're going to uh, close the door. Thank you so much <laughs> for, for, for doing that and for, um, uh, for, for, not being, for not being part of that. We will, I don't know, we'll see if we manifest something for you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Maybe a little applause for the gatekeeper. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Mariana. Uh, we still have two seats in here in the in the in the 
direct circle. So if everyone on the fringes wants to wants to join us and get a bit closer, please feel free to come come here, get a bit closer. And there's still one left. It's just energetically better. Yes, perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, just a quick, uh, how are we going to go about this? The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start with a very classic glass moving communication session. So this is akin to a Ouija board session, but I, out of several reasons, because it evokes oftentimes some thoughts about Hollywood, uh, have avoided the notion of using a Ouija board. And instead, we're actually going to the much older method of just using alphabet cards on the table and moving a glass instead of the planchette. After that, uh, we're going to go into moving the table. So you see this is like a, uh, we have wheels underneath, so we're kind of turning the entire table into a moving device, uh, into a giant planchette, and uh, make it move. Um, or let's see, or like give our energy and allow the spirits to uh, to move them and to communicate through the table, um, and which is a very nice method that I picked up from a, from a, from a colleague uh, in Switzerland, um, because it's not really about the table trying to magically move across against the laws of physics over a sturdy carpet, you know? But it's about getting the movement, so why not put wheels underneath and just use the movement itself, uh, the intelligent movement that move, move, movements that we get from that. And then we're going to move into the next portion and go into the experiments, which is more of the darker portion as well of the sounds. So um, I thought let's start with raising the energy a bit. Um, which we're going to do uh, in the following way. First of all, I would everyone, like to everyone to stand up, move a bit, shake a bit, warm up your body. And we're going to do the first thing, which is um, I want you to, uh, in a moment, close your eyes and then just allow your body to move how it wants to. So this is some uh, some somatic body work and just going into like, allow your body to receive energy, to just move with it and do this with your eyes closed so you're not, um, so you're not influenced by what other people are doing. Um, and as you're doing this, just just move however you feel like it. Just move move your body, move your arms, move, move your move move your feet, your your legs, your hands, your fingers, your shoulders. Just just turn your head a little, and just know that no one is watching right now because everyone has hopefully now closed their eyes. No peeking, or you'll find yourself cursed for a thousand lifetimes. Um, <laughs> And once you're doing this, I want you to, at one point, uh, try to stay in the flow. Maybe find a position that you're comfortable in, which can be very weird, but find a position that you're comfortable in with your arms. I don't know, do whatever you think should happen right now with your body. Go into a position and then stay in this position. And then open your eyes and just look around the room and just see connections, see synchronicities, maybe feel the, the same energy from the, for, from the positions from others. I see some synchronicities already um, of how we ended up in certain positions, but also feel the energy of these positions and what they are portraying to you. So have a quick look around and then release and relax. Very good. Okay. So. First of all, let's do some breathing. I will ask you to close your eyes one more time, and I'm going to ask you to visualize the following colors as I call them out. Um, you do not have to be a masterful visualizer. Uh, all that's needed is that you see the colors that I announce for a split second, even if it's just a very short moment. Sometimes it helps if you visualize or imagine or remember, which is the key word here, remember an object with that color. And everyone who says they can't visualize, if you can tell me uh, the color of your front door, you can visualize. So that's all that's needed, and, and that's all I'm asking for you. So uh, first of all, we're starting with the color red. See red in front of your mind's eye. And then orange.
yellow. Just keep on breathing normally, just relaxing. Green. Blue. Purple. And white. And hold on to this image of whiteness for a few more moments and allow it to envelope you like clouds, like protective clouds. And just think back to a time when you felt happy, a positive thought, a time when you felt at least eight out of 10 super happy. Feel how you felt in that moment, feel it in your body right now. Allow that feeling to grow and allow those clouds around you to start emitting a light with exactly that feeling. And just envelope yourself in this intention that only the things that you want to experience will come through, that only benevolent entities and friends from the other side may come through to communicate and give messages that are inspiring, helpful, potent, and productive. And we're not creating a protective circle. We're not banishing negative energies. We're simply inviting the things that we wish to communicate with. Do not close off anything that you can't right now know whether it will be good for you. Just trust that the right things will come through for you. So let us build a soul bridge, a bridge between this world and the next, a bridge of love, a bridge of respect, a bridge of light, so that we may get in contact with all of you who want to help, inspire, guide, guard, and gift. Very good. And then slowly open your eyes and come back into the room. And just know, although we are relaxed right now, we can still be very aware we can be here we are not going into some otherworldly dimension. Seance is about creating that bridge of overlapping realities, of shifting and allowing these to manifest here, in the here and now, here in Malkuth. But maybe let's have a good connection to Yasod. <laughs> so let's go into the imagination as well. So let's do some singing and humming. I don't know, do you guys know Pure Imagination, Willy Wonka? <laughs> it's just a beautiful way to start this. So um, I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will kind of try to hold some melody, put some lyrics in. I uh, haven't done it for a while with this particular song, but I thought it, it deserves a revival for a culture 2023 for starting the seance. Please do hum along, do get in the vibe, uh, chant with me. Uh, after a while, you will know some lyrics and just give the energy, be here, be present. And um, uh, spirits love happiness, good joy and laughter, which is also the perfect connection and protection if we if you think that we need one so let's see if we can get this going i 
just really connect with the music, let the music show you and guide you and get into the mood to experience things that you usually may not experience. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin Traveling in the world of our creation What we'll see will defy explanation If you want to view paradise Simply look around and view it Anything you want to do it You can change the world There's nothing to it There is no Life I know to compare with your imagination Living there you'll be free if you truly wish to be Move your body if you feel like it. If you want to view paradise, close your eyes and you will see one. Want to be a dreamer, be one. Anytime you please, and please save me one. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. There is no place to go to compare with your imagination. So go there to be free if you truly wish to be. Living there, you'll be free if you truly wish to be. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. So, please, let's move forward. Let's go towards the table. Come closer. Come closer. I oh, know it's not it's not enough space for everyone, but let's just switch around for a bit. Um, so, yeah, please come a bit closer. Come on, come on, yeah, for sure. Get this a bit out of the way. Okay, so good. I have here um, I have here some envelopes with uh, death notices from the newspaper. These are not too old. Uh, these are pretty, pretty. Um, yeah, current. Um, I'll just hand that out to some people. Uh, mix them up, put your energy into them, connect with them. Later on, um, if you want one, just take them with you and you can keep them and uh, also like test with them and uh, test your own abilities with them. So we will first move into a glass moving session. So this is exactly what this is. This is just a glass and some alphabet cards around here. Um, we are going to 
actually, let's do it like this. Okay, so um, let's do, yes, I'm going to switch things out a bit. Let's move from A to Z. So we have a positive and a negative. So we have yes and no, which is how we're going to start, which is like the first and easiest way to go about it. So um, to just get in contact. Are we well connected with that? OK, perfect. Um, is, someone, is someone good with, um, with pendulums? Who's, who has who's ability with pendulum? Bonnie, you do. Someone else as well? You as well? Yeah, please come closer. Please come a bit. Please come a bit closer. So basically, um, with these envelopes, we are going to uh, work with. Let's see. I'm not too sure how many there are, but uh, I've got a pendulum right here. I'll just give that to you. Oh, what was that? Oh, thank you so much. Good. And just groove in, <laughs> just groove in with a pendulum. And uh, basically, what we're going to do is, um, yeah, get a sense of who we should be working with, right? Um, of who has uh, where we feel where there is a connection going on, right? Um, so maybe I don't know. Let's let's lay them out. Lay them out like this. So basically, it's just like the like the like the like, like the flap tucked in like here, so um, we don't have to like rip them open or something like this. Okay, perfect. Just so we know, perfect. Okay, so could you just move uh, the pendulum over over the ones just to get a feel uh, where we may be heading? Who wants to communicate with us? So I'm guessing a straight line, is that a yes or a no for you? Uh, it's a no. It's a no, okay. The circle is usually a Okay, yes. let me take out this one. Let's move to the next. It feels very interesting already. But yeah, okay. Oh, which one are we? That's a yes. Okay, so which one is that? I think it's this one. It's this one over there. Okay, so let's, I don't know, let's keep that, keep that uh, somewhere, somewhere safe. Like this maybe, yeah, and just check the others so we get a no or what we get from these. Okay, that looks like a no. And then the other one as well. That's a thing is also a no, perfect, okay. So, um, yeah, just to be, just to be sure, maybe. We're working with this one, yes? Okay. Uh, oh, oh, there's a cell phone there. Sorry, I didn't see that one. Oh, it's also yes. yes. <laughs> also a yes. Uh, well, what do we do? Let's, I mean, find out which one we should work with. I'll get these out of the way. So what do we say? I think it's this one. Here. I think it's this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so this one goes away. Perfect. All right. Let's, um, yeah, I'll give that to you. Just put that in your pocket and focus on it. Uh, and we'll try to connect with whoever that is. Um, has anyone already done Ouija board class moving? Who has who has tried that before? You have tried that. You have tried it. You have tried it. Okay. So let's maybe have ha 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 like have a mix of those people who are maybe, who are maybe a bit more experienced. So I definitely have your finger on and a tall of you as well and you as well. Just come closer and then we'll just see how many people we can accommodate for. Um, I'll just join for the first. I mean, let's, let's first have some other people experience it. Let's see whether you can get your finger on. If you really want to, you can also like move underneath and just be in contact. Basically, you're just having a very slight contact with it. Try not to, um, try not to, uh, um, yeah, work against it, but just follow uh, where it wants to go. 
And over here we have the Z with no, and over there we have the A with yes. And we will just ask some yes or no questions first to get ourselves moving. And you are imagining that energy is coming from your fingers inside of the glass to give it enough kinetic energy so that we can get some intelligent movement and communication. And we start with, please, spirits, if you're here, give us a sign. Show us, are you here? Do you want to communicate? Very good, we're getting some movement. I think that's going, oh, yes, picking up. The table is a, big, big, a bit big, so it's a little difficult to hang on, I know. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, just support it energetically. Oh, interesting. So I think that's definitely a yes, which is good, otherwise this would be over. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, thank you so much. Okay, uh, you can physically do it yourself and move it back to the middle. Very good, all right. Let's see, um, please, the spirit who we have identified, who we have now in the envelope, are you willing to communicate with us and give us some starting point to open up communication? seems undecided. <laughs> Please, if you're willing, the person who's identified by the death notice in the envelope, would you please be willing to give us some communication here today to get to know you a bit better? I'll ask my guides to help if they need help. Usually with the people who departed not too long ago, they still have to find their way. And energetic-wise, it can be tough, so I just ask my guides to just help them communicate the way that they want to, even if it's a no. We will respect that, uh, but just so we can get enough energy moving to find something. Do you already feel an, an, an indication where it wants to go? It's moving a little. Okay. What direction? It feels shy. It feels shy, okay. Yeah. I don't know, should we, should we try someone else? Or do you think it's good? Huh? Mm -hmm. I would describe it more as resistant. Resistant, okay. Hmm, maybe. Maybe let's try, let's, let's even go a step further. Could you try to, to give us an, an indication of your name? I'll join you, oh, sorry. So it looks like an R to me, I would say. There's an A, okay. Oh. 
M or an N? Maybe both, I don't know. Well, let's see, sometimes it's jumbled up. Some, some, sometimes it's just, just not the same, not the right. Uh... So we, what do we have? We had R, 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 A, C, M, N. What was that? Someone have just have something to write so we can <laughs> keep track. Usually, when it goes to the O, it's sometimes it's a it's a zero. It could be sometimes published. could be published. Yeah. Oh, actually, let's take this as a sign for a moment. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, everyone just relax for a moment. Yeah, take take your fingers off. Okay. So, uh wait, we had we had R, we had M N, we had an A, we had a C, uh a B a B as well. But this this came later, right? This came later and the O the O maybe as well. All right. So, <laughs> Rambo. <laughs> yes, recently Rambo died near, and it was it was it was in the newspaper, very big. Um, is it Mark? Ah! <laughs> I don't know who ha who has the envelope. Can we get that out? I mean, again, maybe maybe nothing else. Maybe it, it may also be a be a message. If they if they didn't really want to share the name, yeah yeah, please take it out. How, how let's have a look. Wait, this is Macron. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? Knut, Knut, Knut Lindner. No. We got everything except for. We got everything except for. I think we actually wait, wait for a moment. Didn't you have one that you said you, you almost chose? Yeah. Wait, wasn't that, I think? Oh. I'll jump over the mob again, I don't know. There's another one. Because I th now we're like really this is heart-based evidence. <laughs> this is true evidence. Now he, we had him. Yeah, we had him in the mediumship circle it's recently. Like born cobra. Born, born is nice. Almost had cobra. <laughs> Kari. Somehow, I don't know. Seems weird. Maybe we get back to that. Maybe we get back to that. Let's ask more questions. Let's, let, yeah, let, let us ask another question. Let's see. Let's see what, whether, what, what Knut wants to say. So let's maybe stick to yes or no to get a bit more... to get a bit more focused. Doesn't really matter where we put it, right? <laughs> All right, who wants to try? Maybe someone who hasn't already. I'll just switch around a bit. Okay. Yeah. Now we're good. All right, Knud, are you willing to communicate with us?
stuck. It's stuck again. <laughs> but it went to Y. Why? Why? All right, Knud, uh, I don't know if you're good with numbers. Could you maybe just so we just so we uh, connect, could you give us maybe some numbers connected to you using the letters as the numbers? <laughs> he wants to dance. It's an eye. It's an eye? Yes. So it's <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Three. Three? Was that a G? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven, okay. Three. That feels like an end, it feels like a stop to me. Uh, three, three, but what do we have? So we have 23rd of July. July, I don't know. G is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A six, right? Six, seven. I don't know. Um, yeah. Ideas? <laughs> Maybe it was an hospital, yeah. It was an ice bear here in the zoo in Poland. Yeah, true, yes. But I don't think it's the ice bear. <gasps> All right. You know what? I think let's let's bring. Oh, oh something happens. Haha. <laughs> I think Knut just wants to have fun. Knut, if you want to have fun, <laughs> fun. Um, maybe if you want. Let's move the glass as fast as you can. Let's make some, <laughs> let's make some interesting <laughs> movements going on. <laughs> Knut doesn't want fun, though. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Knut, do you know someone who wants to make some fun? Who wants to a glass dancing party? If you know someone, maybe allow them to step forward. I mean, I hope it's self-evident, but everyone, please just let everyone know who's on the glass right now. Just say yes, uh, that you're just following, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did I end up somewhere? Oh. Who wants to have oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Okay, I get the I get the inclination that we have to just lift up your hands for a moment. Very good. I think we have some good movements, so maybe let's move into the into the table itself. Um Let's move into the table itself. Uh, you can, again, swap around a bit if you want. And see who wants to get to the table. Yeah. 
All right. All right. Same thing again. Maybe, 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 maybe some more people. We we we, we still have space. All right. Same again. Put our hands on top. Keep it light. Keep a light touch. And then we just ask for some intelligent movement and communication to happen. Put the box on top so we have some visual. Wait, is that kind of visible? Can we turn off the light for a moment? Yes. Well, oh, it's not so much. It's not so dark. It's all good. Why isn't it okay? Ah, oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> no, I think something is happening. So right now, we're not only just tapping into the spirits that are around, but also, of course, more directly tapping, like in an animistic way, tapping into the dryer that's connected with the wood, with the spirit of the tree. So just get a loving feeling and connect with the table and the wood itself and the history of it. The spirit's connected with it. You start to feel the pulsing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's everyone start, start chanting something. So let's go with uh, Dryad. Thank you for your body of love. Dryad, 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 thank you for your body of love. Dryad. Thank you for your body of love. Dryad, 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 thank you for your body of love. Keep on chanting. Dryad, thank you for your body of love. Just take a step back. Right. Thank you for your body of love. Give it space. Thank you for your body of love. Dryad, 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 oh, thank you for your body of love. Dryad, thank you for your body of love. Dryad, thank you for your body of love. Dryad, thank you for your body of love. 
Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Dry it. Thank you for your body of love. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, how, how did that feel for everyone? How did you did you get a sense of like the pulsing of it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So how how did that feel for you? Like I guess it's different for everyone a bit, depending on, steering. huh? A little bit steering. A bit, little bit steering, yes, yeah. yeah. It feels like it wants to move, but I mean, maybe if you just for a moment. It's, it's yeah, it's it's pretty sturdy still, right? So, anyone else? Do you feel something? How 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 did that feel for you? Like connecting with with the wood as it's supposed to maybe f w w w w w with the glass where we had like a human contact. Mm -hmm. I felt the metal part of the table as well. Mm, interesting. Yeah. True. Really old. Really, 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 really old. <laughs> mm. It's not the best practice for the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. I think I think although we didn't get we, we we did get some minimal movement out of it, uh but I think it's good to keep this as a centerpiece, otherwise I would have moved have moved it out. But I think it's uh it's still it's still holds enough energy to, to work a bit more with it. So uh please feel free to get back to your seat. I'll get over the candles for a moment. I hope without burning myself. Good. All right. So, um, I have the feeling that it's time for like the first experiment. Could we have the light back on for a moment? So, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> we should do like a warning. Let's do like three, two, one, light. Uh, would probably be best. Okay. So, um, we have some experiments. Uh, that I got from from the spirit team that we wanted to try. So first of all, um, I'm getting the inclination. I think I think I would like to ask you. Could you just come forward for a moment? Uh, your name is Ina. 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 Thank you so much, Ina. So I've got I've got a rose here. It's for you. I know it's not very nice, but it's still it's it's it's, it's one I found. So I got the got the impulse to work with that. So um, this is uh, this is an experiment in. Uh, Resurrection, really, right? Uh, in just uh, allowing the allowing the forces to to move into a direction where we can get life again. This is more of a metaphorical experiment, actually, right? Because if we're working with strong symbolism, of course, with the rose, um, and also with images of death and resurrection and life. So. Um, uh, at a moment in the darker part, right, I will ask you to get ready and actually uh, 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 cut the butt off, right? Um, and after that, we're going to uh, just wrap the head inside here, okay? Um, and I'll ask you to, to place this uh, on there. Uh, very important is um, that there's nothing inside here, right? Um, but that you vouch and to tell everyone, right, that you then place it there because we will probably be doing it in kind of red light or darker light. Um, I mean, it's still it's pretty bright here, right? So everyone will be, will be able to see that you place it on here. And I would like you to, um, after the sales, I think we'll probably, 
and like take it with you, keep it with you, keep it wrapped, and maybe if you can, take it with you for at least half an hour, hour okay, after the seance, and then we can check, and everyone who cares to, um, maybe after the event, after here, the first one, we can kind of, if you want, come back here and we kind of meet and see what happened, all right? Whether we have some kind of uh, uh, things growing back, if we have another uh, rose petal or something, uh, whatever they want to do, okay? So this just takes some time. Um, so I'll give you this, and you can take back your seat. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're just cutting off. Exactly, exactly. Um, and then we have another experiment uh, from Heidi, our light master, <laughs> master over the light. Um, and um, basically what I, uh, so, so how you as part of the uh, mediumship development circle as well. And uh, what I ask you to do is uh, to uh, get in mind a person, an entity, a contact on the other side that you think would be interesting to contact, right? Uh, very important, you haven't told me anything about that. But you, you just kept that for yourself. Um, and, uh, and then I also ask you to uh, bring some paper so we can do some independent writing. And I knew it was to do with water, but I didn't yet know what this is. I have an inclination now what this might be. Could you take out the, uh, the paper for a moment? Yes, the paper. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, for for the writing. Yes, exactly. So, um, you you initial that. You put yes. your initials on, right? So just take take it out for a moment to just show everyone. Uh, just some, just some blank paper, some blank paper just with 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 Heidi's initials on there. Uh, so you know, so you know it's yours. No, you don't have to get that out as long as you know who that is, you have the contact in mind, that's yeah. all that's needed. So let's place that back. Uh, and this is the same thing. So here we have some water. So this is just some, this is just some, some normal tap water. Um, and I'm going to place this here as well. And during the darker, dark part of the sounds, I will ask you to um, send energy to this as well. And I hope to uh, to kind of impregnate it with our thoughts and get it ready to connect with the paper then as a potential. This will probably take a bit longer, so I will ask you to take this also at home and maybe snatch a video of it. So maybe, I don't know, Heidi also has a nice YouTube channel. So <laughs> shameless plug, right? Um, uh, so uh, maybe you will, will be able to take a video of that, but I think it will take at least uh, uh, two hours or something after the seance to, to do. Right, or maybe, or maybe even day. So, so I would wait. Basically, I will ask you to to dip the water as a scroll into, uh, drip the paper into the water okay. while concentrating um, on on your contact. Right. That's basically, and then take it out. So you just dip it one time in. Right. Uh, that's all. Again, experiment. So maybe nothing happens, but I hope to like kind of see in the wet in the wet uh, parts something. You know. Maybe I know. Today. Maybe see it today. I don't know if you get if you if you get the feeling that it's right today already, then then we can do it and like get a video of that. And uh, if you're interested, you'll find it, right? Um, so these are the experiments. Um, okay. So uh, let's everyone, yeah, let's stand up for for another moment, and I'll just show you how we're going to connect during during the darker part, which is basically uh, the light circle. Oh. Can we scoop in, like somehow get get us all connected so we can hold hands? Shall I just keep this with me again, the paper? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep, keep the paper with you. I'll just move this out a bit. Ah. Just checking quickly on the time. Oh, I have to hurry just a little bit. Okay. All right, basically. So I will ask you to uh, to hold hands. Feel free to just put that on your on your on your seat for a while, or or down there. And we're going to hold hands, and I want you to imagine uh, that you're sending light throughout. Uh, so receiving in your left hand, sending light to your right hand, and that you're basically creating this circle of light um, around us all. And that's what we're going to do. So let's practice this now. Send light through your right hand. Let it go across the circle and receive it back through the left hand. So we're creating this circuit of light and of energy. Very 
very good. And just make it faster, make it quicker, make it move, make it move. And just notice how it's very difficult to hold on to any kind of intrusive or distracting thought, how it's just sweeped away by those energies, by the light that's going around and around in the circle. Okay, very good, and you can let go for now. So how was that? How did you did you notice how the how the thoughts kind of go with it? So it's so it's you don't okay. Who? What were your impressions? What did you feel? Uh, I had to be careful what to say. Yeah. Okay. Sense, yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? Something? I felt a bit sick in my stomach. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it flew, it flew through you, okay, okay. But was it, like, pleasant, good? Yeah. Okay, good. I mean, I know, like, some people, will, when they say, like, fainting or, like, that it's, that it's too much, you know, uh, it can be kind of about the, the idea that, well, because, like, physical mediumship takes, of course, part of, uh, part of the body, you know, you're, like, you're giving energy, mm -hmm. you know. So it's not like, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not, nothing um, uh, uh, to be taken lightly, bro. Right? Um, and the thing is that when we're doing it as a group, of course, we're like trying to balance things out again, right? So um, if you just get a bit, a bit, a bit closer, we just do it again. So let's try to kind of, we're sharing the load, if that makes sense, right? We're not having like one medium who takes it all because oftentimes, especially physical mediums, are struggling greatly with their health. Uh, so right now, yes, I mean, we're like kind of sharing the load and like doing it all ourselves, like, right? So it's not like one person and like very badly, but we're doing it in, a, in an ecological way and doing it all together. And right now is also the time that you can also start to think about your contact, the person who you would like to contact or also... Um, an entity or a spirit contact that you have on the side. Uh, do you start to feel that feeling of kind of like being pushed outside, you know, like from the inside of the circle, like kind of that it's pushing you? Yeah. It does also like the energy building. I'll just go with the noises in the room, just don't let them distract you, but just have them center you and ground you into the here and now. We are reaching out spiritually, but we're also allowing to be here and aware and whatever happens, right? You hear that? I think something dropped again. <laughs> Very good. All right, and slowly open your eyes again. Stay with the energy, keep the energy up. We're just building it. Very good. So Heidi can attest to the fact that sometimes things drop. Did you hear something? I, I, no, I heard breathing. Okay, so I heard, I heard something. We'll keep holding hands if you just check something. Yeah. If, you, if something fell. Oh, there is something over there. Do you want to pick it up? Yeah, maybe pick it up. What do we have? Yeah, just check it out. The light. Okay. Yeah, leave it there. I think someone will get an inclination to pick it up. Usually it's like a gift for someone. So if you feel like that when you leave, just take it with you. Take it as a gift. All right, very good. So we can take a seat now again. And I'll just. You can put out the lamp. Yes. 
We ask you to be here. We ask you to be present. We ask you to come and join us in the circle of light. Be with us. Join us. Give us messages. Give us guidance. Be here. Create the sacred space with us together so that we may join and have contact in communion. Everyone just close your eyes for now. I'm just going back into the circle. Close your eyes, reach out mentally. And just be aware of whatever happens, whatever you feel, whatever your body feels like, any changes in temperature, anything you see in front of your mind's eye. And it's not pitch black here, which is okay, which is good so that we know where everything is, where everyone is. But be aware of what you see in the room when you open your eyes in just a few moments, not yet. My eyes cast, I see shapes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Again, everyone, please do speak up if you experience something. Be aware of any whispers or any any touches or sensations that you have. And open your eyes. Just be aware of what you see. Someone else does see something shimmering over there in that corner? Green. Someone else? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Same color or different? Green. Green as well, okay. Anybody else? Okay, so something. Your head is turning you into that direction? So it's so, so kind of by itself, yes? Very strong. Okay, very good. Now I, feel do, now I do feel some twitches in my hands, so there's maybe something like the case of like them moving us, them moving our bodies, showing us something. Could you put on the red light for a moment? It's just oh sorry. Yeah, I didn't I didn't show you before. Just there. Actually let's place it. Place it down here. So if you look underneath the table now, because it's a bit too bright for ectoplasm on, on the table, but underneath the table it's a well, it's 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 pretty okay. Let me just move the clutter like this. Okay. So just if you focus your awareness underneath the table, which just allow some ectoplasm to form. Basically, ectoplasm is uh, like a smoky, uh, smoky, foggy substance, usually emitting from the from the mouth or the eyes or any of the other orifices of the of the medium. Uh, but we now try to have some independently forming underneath the table. So basically, so there's something I think already starting. You can see it's darling, very good. It's kind of like a small, 
foggy mass. If you want, please hold hands again so we can kind of make it stronger. Basically, what this is, um, uh, what I found, what it responds well to is actually abracadabra, which is weird, right? But abracadabra being like the Aramaic, I create as I speak, um, which is basically that, you know, which I also think is why symbolically, why it's coming out usually out of, out of the mouth of, of, of the medium, you know, creating matter, the birth of matter. Uh, so it's kind of between matter and spiritual. So it's very this ethereal substance that we barely can start to see and get a sense of. So let's let's chant some abracadabra and see how it reacts to that. Okay, abracadabra, 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 abracadabra. Abracadabra, 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 abracadabra. Oh, it's something happening. <coughs> okay. Yeah, please keep going. <coughs> abracadabra, abracadabra, abracadabra. Please do speak up if you see any changes. I think already there's something it goes a bit more spacious underneath the table, like a little cloud, I'd say. Abracadabra, 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 abracadabra. Okay, and stop. All right, how, how, how does that look? Because it does look different for, from, from different perspectives usually. But please do speak of a few. What do you sense? What do you see with, from that? Okay. Yeah, okay, very good. Would you say it's kind of gray, whitish? Yeah. yeah, good. To me, it looks like a mass. Like a mass, okay. Cloud. Yeah. Mist. We're talking about underneath the table. Yeah, underneath the table, table. exactly. The, the, the legs, yeah. yeah. Like not mm -hmm. underneath the wheels. No. Yeah, yeah, I see the fog as well. Oh, do you see something underneath the table as well? Or under, under, underneath the wheels? Underneath is also a type of fog. Yeah. Okay. I mean, basically, light light is just not that good for it, you know. So that's why it usually forms in, in red light or low light. All right, I think now is the right time to cut the rose and wrap it up. I feel the light bulb is moving. Mm -hmm. So the light bulb is moving for you. Very good. Does someone else see that as well? Because I'm not seeing the light bulb from here where I sit. Okay. Yeah, they sometimes do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Something like a like a finger or like something like that. Because usually they start with hands or whatever. Like longish. Yeah. Okay. Could you, yes, exactly, could you, oh, sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't clearly communicate, uh, uh, just the, just the butt you can leave somewhere else, and the stem you wrap in the, in the cloth. Yes, where, where, where the, where the flower was, you put, you, you put the handkerchief, but without the bud. <laughs> let me, let me help you, no, I, basically, so, oh, yeah, so, so you put that in here, sorry about that. This here, like this. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I know. Let's leave this for a moment. Yes. Oh, good. Thank you so much. It is time to wrap up. Well, let's do wrap up. Um, all right. Anything else someone wants to share with the group? Let's quickly put put the water where the mass is with the ectoplasm for a moment. And everyone, I would really appreciate it if you just send your energy just for a few moments over there into the water for that experiment as well. And feel free to close your eyes one more time 
seeing in front of your mind's eye, seeing red, seeing orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and white being enveloped by this whiteness like clouds and you focusing right now on the person who you wanted to connect with and you start to see a silhouette forming in those clouds coming closer and you feel a sense of love, you feel a sense of connection and this person arrives and comes out of the clouds and they are with you and they are just like you remember them or imagine them and just say hi, say hello, do your greetings as you do you usually start by asking one question and even if that question is, do you have a message for me? And then just listen for a few moments of silence. Now. And once you heard your message, just know that you can return to this place whenever you want and commune with them further and just schedule a time when you will see them again, maybe in your sleep, maybe before you go to bed. And then let them escape again and go back into the clouds until you only see a silhouette and you see white and then you see violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And open your eyes, take a deep breath, and relax your hands. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I think we can call for the light. Three, two, one, light. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, take the water with you. Yes. Thank, yes, take the water with you. Thank you all so, so much. Oh, I'll place it down there. Thank you all so, so much. Uh, this is for you. Yes, you take this home with you and you dip it. Um, in case you do want, in case you do want to find out uh, what happens with the water, if something happens, feel free to, feel free to find me on Instagram. We can connect there, and I will definitely share it there if something happens. If nothing happens, then don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> it already happened. Uh, oh. uh, yes, so thank you so much for, for coming and for being there. I know it's like really like with a shortness of time, uh, it's a bit rushed, uh, but I hope uh, you had a nice experience anyway. Uh, and uh, yes, please feel free to see me afterwards if you have any questions or you want to share an experience or if you want to share one experience right now where you feel like this is it that I want to share. Um, and someone, please, if you feel like it, take with you this, this stone, uh, which I feel comes with a message of uh, seeing yourself. And uh, maybe someone who's doing scrying with a black mirror, this seems very smooth. So uh, if you're doing scrying, take this as a gift from spirit. If, uh, just seem to drop somewhere. So please take this with you if you want to, if you feel like it. Um, and uh, yes, thank you so much, I'm Mark. Thank you. Um, before you leave, I would like to invite you to do a little bit of a Chaos Magic banishing to keep the residue of spirit world and ectoplasm out of your fields. Some laughter. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it's perfect. very, very, very good. simple. Chaos magicians do like to banish with laughter because it's like, the work is done. We did it. Yeah. So I invite you to bring up your witchiest belly so you laughter with you. you can bring up yes. now. And yeah, we'll, I don't know, we'll meet. I mean, I mean we can check now in a moment, but yeah. <laughs> 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 
that's it now. <laughs> something. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Mark, for giving Thank permission you so to much. be psychic. So everyone, much. seek out those spaces. You know you nice. have the capacity. It might be a little bit already. buried underneath all of the social conditioning. But if you seek something out spaces already? where you have permission to do so, sure. you will Maybe. uncover But it smells nice it. already. I think there is...